What are we doing? I thought I knew what we were doing. Okay, first, I think we need to introduce ourselves. Hi, I'm Ames Hawkins. Hello, Ames Hawkins. I'm Ryan Truman. Wait, what's next? This is Masters. 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 Of text. Exploring alt alphabetic texts. Alt exploring alt alphabetic texts. Exploring alt alphabetic texts. And creating alt alphabetic texts. And creative critical, creative scholarship. critical scholarship. We're trying to understand Masters of Text as a scholarly endeavor where we investigate how we can make a podcast perform scholarly work. One of the things I'm really interested in is creative process as a methodology. So there's this notion in podcasting, there's a repetition that we can engage with, and that repetition accumulates. So our knowledge is an accumulation based on trying things out over and over and over. And that's something that I'm super interested in doing because that's part of a creative process that's often ignored in academic work. And not only that, but it allows the idea to develop. It allows us to put an idea sort of on the audio table and discuss it, test it out, try different forms of audio textuality. But really, there's another whole part of this enterprise, and that is our desire to connect with a larger, wider scholarly community of folks interested in these ideas, regardless of how they identify. If they identify as academics or artists or some sort of combination thereof. At some point, you realize there's actually a lot of people interested in alternative forms of textuality, alt-alphabetic texts. We get to experiment with the form of the podcast. We get to explore our own creative impulses. We get to better understand the creative critical affordances of sound writing. Let me just say a couple things about S. It sort of explores and questions the idea of how how books work, how marginalia works, how reading a book works. It's Knox by Ann Carson. It's um, about the death of her brother, or at least connected to her working through the death of her brother. I think that I really wanted to do this one because of the white space, it's sort of like the absence of linearity. The Unfortunates by a guy named B.S. Johnson. When you open it up, right. you have... Um, a, a series of what appear to be pamphlets that are secured by a red piece of paper. Your relationship with the Vox Pop. It's been, well, a couple years. I've done that over and over, and so I'm done with it that way. And I think I reached a particular limit with it. The story of a table of contents. How a table of contents functions and how it could look and what its job was and the history of it. <laughs> oh my god i know right oh, wake up god. everyone wake up <laughs> um the two of us are going to tell you the story of making audio cables for our own personal masters of text use our goal here is also to have a ton of fun i can't wait oh. <laughs> <laughs>